Getting admission into the university was like walking down the road with no light at night. I couldn't even afford a jam farm. And the frustration made me head down wrong path. Join gangs, do all sort of bad. I didn't really care about what I was doing. I mean, the only thing that was on my mind is fighting. I had problems going home. And my dad wasn't really in my life. He came in and then he left. So it was just like build and build of anger that I just want to take out on. It's been tough from my mom to my sisters. Really tough. My life was a struggle. And getting into the university was tough. Until I met Uncle Balang. He, he was just there for me, like a father and uncle that I never had. The shoulder to practically cry on. And when my dad wasn't there for me, Uncle Bolan was stepped up sometimes and always been there. I look at life way differently than what I did before joining this mentorship program. He was was just someone that I can say, that's who helped me change my life. I want you all to know that no matter what happens in your life, no matter the challenges, no matter the difficulties, no matter the rough patches you face, you can do all things and everything through Christ who strengthens you. He never said life will be easy. He never said life will be a walk in the park. He never said you will live without difficulties. But he did promise one thing, that he would never leave you nor forsake you. He said do not live your lives in fear, for he, our God, will always be by your side. He said, cast your burdens upon him. Whatever the problems are, take it to him. For he is our greatest helper in our dearest time of need. You are all young men here. What a wonderful time to know God the best. Always know that no matter what it is that confronts you, you have Christ by your side to help you. Let's go to bed. I'll join you shortly. Come on. You've been watching this match for a while now. Besides, it's a repeat. You can always catch it later. I'll join you shortly, baby. Okay? I promise. So. Okay. I'll see you in there then. All right.
that uh, the progress uh, they have made so far it is fixing a lot of their I mean uh, the, the excitement to be in the house of the Lord mm, that is great that is very very great uh, congratulations once again on your award thank you very much I was so happy when I had hi Soji how are you mm. and your parents okay my regards to them every day people's young person of the year award excellent Look, I am so happy how much your work in the ministry has reflected in the society. How do young people find it easy to connect with you, even the non-believers? I, uh, I am very humble, Pastor. I, uh, it's a lot to it. Oh, yes, it is. And it is indeed marvelous in our sight. Yes, uh, so, I and some key members of the parish came to the conclusion that you would be the head pastor of our new branch in Okekoko. Oh, wow. <laughs> Really, sir? Oh, yes, yes, yes. You have been tremendous here as assistant pastor. And I seriously think that you would do great leading them there. I mean, heading that parish. It is going to be a more youth-oriented branch, seeing that it is very close to the city's university campus. I, I really do not know what to say. I, I think that to me, yes, eh? exactly what I want to hear. Look. The Lord has great things in store for you, Pastor Bolaho. You have been steadfast and diligent in all your activities, and He will shine through for you in no time. Amen, sir. Amen. Thank God. So, how is Madam Abin, your wife, AGD? She's very well, thank you, sir. Uh, what plans are you guys making concerning kids? Are you at least trying? Yes. Yes, sir. Uh, please, please, make it quick, eh? We need our little ones in the love vineyard soon. Yes, sir. All right, eh? Have a wonderful day, thank eh? Thank you very much, sir. All right, thank, thank you. Pastor Bolaho, thank you for honoring our invite. You have no idea how much honor you've bestowed upon me and my household by gracing us with your presence. Mr. Suchendo, I am only a servant of God. Thank you so much for inviting me to your home. Pastor, please, accept this as a token of my oh, appreciation. Oh, come on. No, you don't have to. This is too much. Nothing is too much for you, Pastor. I am overwhelmed. Thank you so much. Thank you for this. And please thank them for me too. I'll tell them. <laughs> Have a safe trip home. I will, thank you. Drive safe. And please, say me well to your wife. I will do. Thank, thank you. you.
Ay, no. ¿Ve ahí? You call us, huh? I got bored. So I decided to change the decor. I like it. What are you doing here? I came to see you. I was hoping maybe we could pick up things from where we left off. We never left anything. We were done. That wasn't the vibe I got. The endless text messages, emails begging for us to work things out. Messages you never responded to. I'm glad you remember. What did you expect me to do, Casey? Your wife blew off everything the moment she sent that video to my parents. My life has been a living hell. There was just no way I could fit you in. Is that why you married her? They made me do it, Casey. My heart belongs to you. I'm done playing this cameos. I'm done. Hello, Dr. P. Yes, um, good afternoon. Um, I was wondering if I could come in to have a chat with you. It's the same issue with Bolaho, the one I spoke to you about. Yes, um, same thing happened last night. I um, did everything that a, a wife should do to a husband and he still didn't respond. It's as if, you know, he only ever sees me in that way, sexually, if and when he wants to. It, and it's really worrying me. Yes, my, my doctor said to give a psychologist a call, so I thought to call you immediately. Especially since we've talked about it before. Yeah. Tomorrow. 2 p.m. Yes, works fine for me. Okay. Thank you very much, Patricia. All right, bye. Let's run away. <laughs> <laughs> like in the movies, right? Yeah, yeah. That we could go to Romania, Cambodia, somewhere far away from everyone. You're still as dreamy as ever. In a perfect world, we'll be together without any inhibitions. Indeed. If wishes were horses, beggars would ride. We can't keep doing this. Stealing kisses and hiding. What would you rather do? This is Nigeria, not San Francisco. You should have learned from me. <laughs> I mean, I, I used to be married. Look at how that turned out. 
Ejide is a nice woman. She would never do what Howard did to you, to us. She was hurt. And the only way she could show her grievance was by planting cameras to record our private moments and just to get at you. She ruined my life. Oh, you seem to have it back now. Married to a beautiful wife, pastor of a church. You're not the one who's stuck with Hawa, all in the name of co-parenting a 10-year-old. And how's that working out? Has its good days and, and its bad days. Who could that be? Are you speaking to me? No. Well, hang on, hang on, let me check it out. Cool. Yeah? Hawa. Hawa, what are you doing here? You were supposed to have him till the weekend. Well, that would have been the case if he wasn't crying all week asking for his dad. But you should have called me. I called, you didn't pick. But... How are you? <laughs> you? You read the Bible now? It's none of your business. Hey, 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 Hawa, you cannot go in there. You don't live here anymore. Look, I, I need to know if you're still sleeping around with all the small boys. I don't want you corrupting our with your lifestyle. What's wrong with you? Oh, Hawa, come here. You can't tell anyone about this. Why not? Please, Hawa. You've caused enough damage. Oh, shit. You've done worse. You've done worse. You did worse when I found out that you were nothing but a bloody cocksucker while I was married oh. to you. Do you have any idea how that made me feel? Do you? How that was eight years ago. Well, maybe to you. But to me, it still burns like yesterday. Baby, come on, let's go. We're leaving. Don't stay, Daddy. Come on, we have to go. We can't stay. Daddy, Daddy is busy with more important stuff. Let's go. And I will do everything in my powers. I will make sure that I do all I can so that you don't get custody rights to our son. You bloody freaking faggots. Let's go, baby. Let's go. I thought you said you were divorced. Yes. So why do you still allow her to come here? It's not that simple. We have a child together. Oh my God, I'm ruined. You, you're ruined. Well, hon, you're ruined. You think this doesn't affect me as much as it affects you? You don't understand. I have a perfect life going. I'm, I'm happy. I don't want anything coming to, to, to ruin things for me again. If you're so happy, then why did you come here? I should never have come here in the first place. It was such a huge mistake.
Hello? Can I call you back, please? What's wrong? You are a homosexual. Well, um... That has been your little secret. It all makes sense now. To think that all these years I thought I was the problem. That was years ago, babe. You can ask my parents, I'm a different person now. Now I realize uh, why you always looked at your phone right before you made love to me. You were looking at his picture to get encouragement to make love to your wife. Congratulations, Bolan. Pastor Ginadu. Your video is all over the internet. I uh, never knew you had such amazing blue job skills that you couldn't use on your wife. I could have bet my life that you were a prude. As for me, I am done with the sham of a marriage. I should have left years ago. <laughs> Go and deal with the rest of the world and the church. Because now everyone knows your secret. I am done. My things are already in the car. This is the last of my suitcases. I am out of here. Have a wonderful life, Bolao. I hope God forgives you. She did. Bolao, so you have finally succeeded in putting me to shame, Abby. Ah, everything your father and I have worked for. Gone because of this, your sinful loss in one more. Ah, well, no, come on, one girl. You see, hey. what I don't understand is this game matter. Eh? Is that Bolao, with all the beautiful, uh, fine, shapely girls in this world, Bolao, eh? you chose to be a gay. Gay. Ah. Ah, ah. I'm, I'm sorry. People are bummed at me, Lori. So, your I'm sorry now has reversed what has happened, Abby. Eh? Or, or, or does it now mean that you are no longer excommunicated from the church? Eh? I'll be a mito your crew the woman leader. Eh? Nonsense. I should have just aborted you if I knew you were going to be a curse to me. We gave you everything we could. Kill that day. We tried to put you on the right path. And the move by time, time we low warning. Showing you the left, showing you the right. But no. Mama cookery mule be a jet. Yeah, fun. So, you are telling me that what the bloggers are saying, that your lover's ex-wife posted the video after catching both of you right under in bed is a lie. Balao. Is that what you are telling me? Talking now, huh? Has cat suddenly got your tongue? It will not oh, See, Balao, I'm 65 years old and I do not want to live my life afflicted with your cause. Therefore, yeah, Balao. I'm disowning him as my son. Eh? Yes! This fact, the church knows about. I don't want to have anything to do with you again. Yeah? You can do whatever you like, and when you are caught, it's on your head. Hey, you oh, leave by me! You uh -huh. will be me! I did not kill my parents! You are going to meet me outside. Very simple. 
You should have just gotten married, eh? And you would have loved your wife. How difficult is that for you to do? Eh? I mean, I tried. You should have tried harder. Look, you think I wanted to marry your father? I didn't love him. Even till now, I don't love him. But it was the right thing for me to do. Maybe if I had married the person that I loved then, I may not have been who I am today. But it was the right thing for me to do. So I did it. Do! Do the right thing! Ah! I didn't raise you like this, oh. But how did you not do? I did not raise you like this. It's over. Huh? I can't get any job anywhere. That video is all over the World Wide Web. No, it's not over. There must be a way. Yeah? Let me go before your father chases me to out of the hospital to get my Hello? Pastor Wally? I've been trying your number these past few days. I just wanted to apologize from deep within my heart about everything. I... I... Pastor Bola, Pastor Bola, what do you have to say about the new allegation of you sleeping with the male youth in your church? Is it true that you're planning a secret wedding with your lover, Casey? Are you aware that there is a 14-year jail term attached to the crime that you've committed? How long have you been gay, Pastor? Pastor, Pastor, Pastor! 